Hey, what's going on? This is Josh Noel. In this video, I want to show you how to use the infographics pack here inside of After Effects. So here we have the motion duck extension along with all the templates and the different types of categories with the infographics pack. So how this simply works is that you can hover over an image and when you find a template that you would like to use, you can just click on apply and it'll apply it to your active After Effects composition. One thing to note here inside of After Effects, if you get this string error, just go ahead and click okay through it until the template's imported. This does not affect anything within the template. So here we have the full imported template here inside of our After Effects composition. So we have a few controls here right off the bat. So you can control the in and out animation only here inside of After Effects by these markers. So for example, we have a three and a half second in animation. If we want this to be a two second animation, all we need to do is drag the marker inward to two seconds. And now it'll only take two seconds to animate in. Likewise with the out marker here, we have a three second out animation. Uh, if we want this to be just a couple seconds long or if we need to extend our uh, template, we can just drag out the out point here and then readjust the out animation. So at eight seconds, our infographic will animate out. Okay, so what about actually editing the template? So in Premiere Pro, you can use the customizer to edit, but After Effects, we don't want you to use the customizer. We would like you to double click on the template here and there's a control layer. And if you come here to effects controls, if you don't see effects controls, you go to window uh, effects controls. And this gives you all of the settings needed to adjust this template. You also have all the different text layers here in the timeline uh, where you can swap in your text. So to edit your text, you can just grab the textile tool here and you can select that text layer and go ahead and type out your text. And that swaps out our text and we can select other text layers and you know go ahead and adjust our text as well. Another thing to keep in mind is suffixes and prefixes. So for example, on this template, we have a percent symbol here. What if we don't want to have that percent symbol? And what if we want to add a dollar symbol, for example? What we can do is come here to the suffix layer here and double click it. All right, and it's going to be selected down here and you can just go ahead and remove that percent symbol by hitting backspace on your keyboard. We can double click the prefix here and we can add a dollar symbol. And you see it adds it right there in front of the numbers and everything will be updated inside your main composition as well. So that's how that can work. I'm gonna go ahead and just undo this real quick because I wanna keep the percentages, but that's how you do it. So now that our tiles are changed out, let's go ahead and talk about how to adjust the overall template. By clicking on the control layer, you're gonna have all these options right here to edit the template. So what can we do here? Well, there's a lot that we can do. So for example, the max value of this chart goes to 100. But what if we want to set this chart to say 1000? Well, we come here to max value and we type in 1000 and this will automatically update the entire chart. So for example, if I come here to the 80% and I find that data right here, and I change this to say 800, this is going to update that bar and the number right there. And that's also gonna keep the overall animation intact as well. Um, one thing to keep in mind, we don't suggest in the side of After Effects to just slide it over because it's very sensitive. We just highly suggest to type in the number that you wish to use. So this way you'll have a lot more control and it's easier to use. Anyway, once again, I'm just going to go ahead and undo all of that because I want to keep this exactly how it was. Depending on the template, you can add and subtract data points. So for example, if we want to add another data point to this, we can set this rows to five. And this is gonna give us another option here. We would have to rescale the uh, infographic here to fit this a little bit better, but for the most part, that's how that works. We can add the text uh, and use that data, but you only have up to say five rows on this template, but we can come here and say, set this to two. And likewise, that's gonna subtract the other rows that we have here. And now we only have two data points, but we'll keep it at four once again. Also, if you need to add decimals, you can go ahead and set this to say one decimal value here. And now we have a decimal point uh, within our graphic here. You can also adjust the layout here with the settings here at the top. So for example, if we wanna make this a little bit thicker, we, we can adjust the line width here. We can say both to say the 51 and this will make it a little bit thicker. Um, another thing we can do is obviously change the colors with a few points here. So if you need this to fit like the brand of your you know, logo or whatever, you can go ahead and change the colors. Everything's available here. And if you need to turn off the background, you can go ahead and uncheck background on off. And right here, you have a few extra settings, so you can change the title position um, if you need to do that, the chart position. So just a few extra settings that you have to work with. So now we have our in animation of our chart and we can keep this up for however long we need it to be and it will go ahead and animate outward. So, so all these templates work very similar uh, to this one. It just depends on the template, what functionality you're gonna have. But for the most part, you should be able to adjust the layouts, colors, and adjust the data points to fit your needs.